let's take a look at this Forbes Asia this is their December issue this costs around 500 rupees or a nine dollars or so I haven't seen the Asia one before that's a city bank ad that's a Richard Mill ad that's caliber RM7201 we got an ad for the Gulfstream G800 looks really nice that's a Langazone Saxonia moon face looks so elegant that's the editorial that's a beautiful ad for a financial institution I'm skipping few pages the green guy Mike Cannon Australian tech billionaire his watch on his 20 billion plus and he is passionate about protecting the environment and saving the planet this is an ad for Malaysian tourism they plan to increase medical tourism by 2025 they plan to use the solar farm and batteries in Australia to power Singapore using a 4200 kilometer subsea cable that's really interesting the heroes of philanthropy that's Joseph Say co-founder of Alibaba I think we need a world ranking of this and uh, she is Clara Utze founder of the Joey Clara Utze Foundation looks like they are doing lots of stuff these are some of the people in the list that's Mr. Anil Agarwal he runs the Vedanta group we have another Indian in the list as Premji, he is the founder of the Vipro Group. He has transferred about 74% of his shares in Vipro to his foundation. The endowment is now valued at nearly 35 billion. He was the first one to sign the giving pledge. He continues to be one of the most generous philanthropists worldwide, with over 20 billion donated so far good to see him recognized like this there is even a ad by India promoting the global summit the anti Amazon that's Etsy founder Josh Silverman Indonesia emerging stronger looks like an ad for a credit card both of them are the ad for this product some kind of bread product I think it's just bread really unique looking packaging That's the cover story. He is Indonesia's earliest tech entrepreneur, Otto Toto Sugiri. Sugiri is like the Indonesia's Bill Gates. This is an ad for HSBC. This is the Indonesia's rich list. Surprisingly, no photos from the first and second. We have the third person, Anthony Salim. 
there is a huge gap between first and second. First is 42 billion, second is 9.7 billion. This is boys in the bubble, the open sea NFT marketplace. I've been looking at it, haven't made any purchases though. Really interesting to see where this goes. The next billion dollar startups of 2020 that's a Sudanese doctor turned entrepreneur Iman Absoid haven't heard about any of these companies that's the ad for the Vasteron Constantine Quite an interesting magazine, lots of interesting articles, surprisingly no ads from cars or hotels, quite nice, check it out.